Morning guys, welcome inside the lodge. Uh, in should maybe we should have the AC on, right? It's kind of a, <laughs> I think that'll maybe resonate with a bunch of folks across the country now. Uh, I guess we, you know, we've got suntan weather, right? Not white tail rut weather. Uh, it's been pretty warm across the country, um, and we are going to be getting some great weather actually coming around. I was just looking at the 10 day, and it's on its way. Um, here in Kentucky, we've actually got the uh, gun season that comes in next week. I believe it starts the 12th, morning of the 12th. And looking ahead, we've got some good weather. So hang tight, guys. It's uh, better weather, weather. Weather is just ahead. So today's video, uh, starting right off, right off here, I've got to send kudos out to one of our uh, channel subscribers, a client of mine, a good friend of mine uh, from South uh, West Central, West Central, I guess you could say, or or uh, Southwest Wisconsin. Um, he actually brought this to the forefront the other day, and I've got a list, guys, and I don't know if I've ever showed you guys any of that, but I've got a notepad that I carry with me that I've got like 100 videos, and I keep it by my bed, I keep it by the coffee table, it's here on my desk, and and uh, I just, you know, write write them down all the time. But there's sometimes uh, ideas down all the time, but sometimes there's folks like Scott, we call him old peg leg there, if you're watching Scott, thanks, I surely appreciate it. Uh, it shows me, guys, that you guys are in tune with Whitetail uh, creativity. Uh, you're looking to be creative. You're in tune with whitetail habitat, right? How to make a better tomorrow for you, your family, your kids, uh, and your neighborhood. You know, what are ways you guys are always digging and, I, and digging into ways to make your hunt better? And this is one. Uh, Scott reached out. He says, hey, have you ever done a video on explaining to people, you know, just the video, you know, we know we touch on it through about, you know, a, a many different videos, but just one video explaining, you know, five ways to advance whitetail age structure. So, number one, we are the easiest way, guys, that you can advance age structure. And it sounds really simple, but it is. It is probably the easiest way to do so, is to build better habitat and what I mean by that guys I've got a little I've got a little icon right here if you will a little note right and, and uh, zoom in here so you can see it but it says it says build better habitat time is money well we've all heard that slogan about finances and life in general right but time is money when it comes to building a better whitetail hunting property guys and this time of the year and it's the reason we're doing this video right now during the rut Right now is the time to really soak this in and try to, when you're from the stand, try to see what you can do better. Time is money, meaning this, guys. When, you're, when you have a property that houses deer in general, but mature buck mentality, if you, are, if you have a property and you are trying to advance the age structure and you can burn more time, more Time equals more time of a mature buck dissecting your property from top to bottom. What you're going to find is your dark pictures are going to decrease and your daylight pictures are going to increase. Why is that? It's a simple fact. Build better habitat. If you build it, they will come, right? Same theory. You have to have something on your property for a deer of any age structure, but especially mature bucks to dissect from top to bottom. Number two smart gun hunting pressure now you notice it says don't gun hunt right i'm a gun hunter myself i love uh, bow hunting i love hunting i would never own a property i would never uh, seek a property to lease that i wasn't able to to gun hunt right now there are some folks out there uh, that don't hunt their properties because they let the surrounding neighbor pressure push deer onto their properties which makes that number one makes deer frequent your property more often so here's the deal with that. That can work for you and against you. And here's the reason why. If you are, if you get to a point one and you have a gun tag available uh, and, and it gets to that point of, you know, maybe the rut or the peak of the rut, right? We're able to bow hunt the pre-rut. We're able, in a lot of, you know, a lot of spots around the country, we're able to gun hunt the peak. Wouldn't it be nice to have a chance to take advantage of that if you have a gun tag, right? Or the availability. So I don't, I wouldn't recommend taking yourself out of that equation for that because there's many ways that you can, you know, you can be uh, very, very successful, low impact, high success with a gun, right? You just have to be smart. 
I, actually, to be honest with you, gun hunting can be lower impact than bow hunting. And why that? Why is that? Because we don't have to penetrate into the farm as far. We can sit out to the outside and pick away. We can hunt over food plots because we're, you know, 100 yards from them. We can re reach out and touch them. I've always said this, guys, to everybody. You could shoot. You can shoot deer off from a food plot day after day after day after day with a gun. Why is that? Because you're not getting blown. You're not physically getting blown off from that food plot when you are walking off from it with a bow, right? So, a lot to be said for that. So, the, another reason to finish that is this: if you if you choose to do that, that could work. Great, and I'm not saying that it doesn't, because it, it works, it works. And actually, I believe Scott is probably a testament to this, right? Many other people around the country. It works. The problem with this is this, something to watch, guys. If you put that much focus on your property and you let that much surrounding um, pressure drive does, deer, mature deer, all under one balloon, right? If you allow that to be pressured so much, to fill the property, you better have the right habitat and the acreage to house it. Because what happens is, I've seen time and time and time again, is the older bucks come in and just the older, the you know, new deer, let's just say that, best way to explain it, new deer come in and chase your older bucks off. Well, I get this, wow, well, that can't happen. It's always, you know, the older you are, the, the tougher you are. Well, if you're my age or older, you know, that's not the situation, right? So, uh, old bull, young bull, right? So the, 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 the joke is, is real, but it's, it's a real honest situation, guys, is what happens is bully buck situations will be driven on that property and a buck that you have waited years or time and you're trying to advance age structure, you know, a hundred inch eight point comes on and every time you get a picture of him, he's got his ears laid back. That's one to shoot. Uh, but you know, the neighbors didn't want to shoot him. You didn't want to shoot him. Now he's on your property. Now he's pushing, guess what? Now he pushes a mature buck off and uh, the neighbors are successful. So not that that's a bad thing at all, one of the topics, but uh, you got to watch that. So would I recommend, would I ever own a property that I wouldn't be able to gun hunt? No, you just have to be smart. But if you choose not to do that, it is very successful. It's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Number three ties right into that. If you're looking to buy a property and you're looking to be in an area and your goal is to advance age structure, you are looking to, sh to hunt and pursue mature bucks. Buy where big bucks live, right, right off the bat. That's going to cost you some money, more so than Central Michigan or Northern Michigan or the UP of Michigan, right? Beautiful country, great potential. What is your potential versus your, your, what does your wallet allow, right? Location, location, location is what I've got on the end of that, guys, just for that reason. Um, you get there, well, one of the slogans, right? I'm full of slogans this morning, right? Maybe it's got something to do with the coffee. Uh, speed costs money. How fast do you want to go, right? That old racing term. A buddy of mine taught me that years ago, and we know that firsthand by being a racing family, you know? So... Speed costs money, how fast you want to go. Perfect situation. You want to be in big deer country, buy big in big deer country. But I see many, many, many times throughout the, through all over the Whitetail Range, big pocketbook, uh, big property, 40 acre neighbors killing bigger deer than you every year. Why is that? Because he has places to put them. They have, they have correct habitat. They have correct contour and contour ridge country is king that area in general those that contour you can hide way more deer in ridge country guys than you can can the flat ground bar none hands down that's not a debatable topic number four huge piece of the puzzle promote your neighbor's success i'm i'm a huge promoter of this guys actually it's it's funny we're on this topic because i was asked this situation just yesterday um what should i do what is the best way to promote my my uh, you know area, my my neighbors are interested in you know kind of joining forces, if you will. Maybe they want to see bigger deer too. You know, you design my property, and now they're interested. So should I give your information to them? Yes, give the information to them. Here is how you do that. If you are looking to do this, 
and you can promote your neighbor's success. One, right off the bat, they, they kill a deer. It doesn't matter what the thing scores, how old it is. You have to make a relationship. You have to make that connection so you have that trust. If you're the guy that's going to go over the fence, scream from the fence, flip them off when you're driving down the road, you know, be the jerk at the, uh, be the jerk at the uh, buck pole, they, that connection is never going to be made. You broke, you've broken that uh, chain, right? You've broken that bridge. You burnt that bridge. Don't be that neighbor. Uh, so the way that you do that, make that connection, promote them, guys. They shoot something, you promote it. Whether it's the kids, them, they're, they're 10 years old or, or 80, promote it. What you'll find by doing that is this. If they reach out, if I've done a property and your neighbor is interested in doing it, if we build better habitat on their property, larger, mature deer will follow. Especially like in the state of Kentucky where it's one buck tag, guys. There's only so much damage you can do, right? Uh, but there, this, that's kind of a limited situation here, right? But around the country where you got two gun tags or two tags in general, uh, the better habitat means holding more deer like we talked about right so you promote that you don't promote what they should be shooting first and foremost don't go call somebody and say i want to make a co-op and i want to talk about uh eight eight you know eight points 16 inch eight points let's all manage for that guys that get you nowhere zero that's not a that's not a fast track you know that's just kind of maybe that, that is a separate topic not a fast track don't don't go down that road it doesn't work you know there's faster ways there's better ways to get there Two is you just go to them and you tell them this is, you know, let him design it or, or, or let's design it together from what I learned from him or whatever the case is. Let's design it. Let's get your habitat better in the right areas. Maybe that's as simple as just select cutting the property, right? Getting some more daylight in there, making more browse, housing more deer, better habitat. Before you know it, now you've got more deer to choose from. And when they see your success... The quickest way to do that is having someone see your success and then they will follow. Be a leader, not a follower. If you're the leader and you're spreading the gospel, right, they will follow. Another slogan, hey, like I said, full of them. There's one way to the top, guys, that's with your employees, not against them. I learned that from a very, very successful businessman. There's one way to the top that's with your neighbors not against them. Let's turn it into deer, the deer slogan, right? Remember that one. Very, very powerful. Number five. It's kind of a joking top here topic, but very serious. Age over inches. Ladies, no, no laughing behind the scenes here. Age over inches. Now listen, I've got the topic here. It says dad bods. You know, any of you guys that are watching this that aren't dads, you're not as cool as us dads. It's just pretty simple, right? Dad bods are cool. All joking aside, guys, is this. The the age over inches, the best way to manage a deer herd, and I've gone toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and I'm sure there's going to be some people on this and, and uh, you know, that, that comment or whatever. Guys, I've been on both sides of the fence, literally, free range and high fence, and I'm here to tell you right now that age over inches is how you advance and build a better deer herd for tomorrow. The reason for that is, is simple math is if you build a deer herd over the age of three and a half most cases around the country unless ehd or blue tongue and you know whatever comes in if you strat strategically build that property for an older age class over three and a half you will never break the chain in most in most areas you will never break the chain of that age structure you just have to get it there it only takes a few years to get there, guys. So what is that age structure per your goals in the area, right? You got to be very honest with yourself. Um, what I'm seeing is this. I really feel Michigan is a powerhouse, guys. If you're in there and I, I'm from there, Michigan is a has more genetics than uh, a lot of the country, you know, Illinois, Iowa included. I'm telling you right now that there are some spooky genetics in the state of Michigan. Uh, so you put age with genetics, it brings inches, right? It'll all follow. But if you structure your management for inches, you will never advance your age structure. Number uh, six, a bonus here, guys, late season food sources, uh, having a very, very strong late season food sources. Now, 
they help rebound from that devastation of 30 percent 20 to 30 percent body weight that these bucks go through guys when your deer herd is affected in it with with that when they drop that much weight your bucks drop that much weight during the pre-rut in the rut what will happen is guys they have all the odds working against them going into the season after you have got them through the gauntlet right once they beat us bow hunters and they've got through the orange army and and they're in late season what i find is any of from where i'm at north obviously where i'm uh, from michigan is a big one you know wisconsin minnesota parts of canada if you're tuning in a lot of canada what happens is guys the death rate of winter mortality ruins all of this what i would not do is this this right here biggest big piece of the puzzle health and security if you want to advance the age structure and you have a winter feed program or you have your great food plots guys in the the midwest and north from that line all the way across the country our country the midpoint north if you are inviting deer to the, the table you best be able to house them through them winter months with security because in security cover and have browse better have browse because what i see a lot is uh michigan the up of michigan is a, is notorious for this we can bait up here right so at the end of the season guys go get truckloads and truckloads and truckloads and try to help well predate you invite predation to the plate and then also there's not enough woody browse mass gets covered up by snow not enough for them to eat people bring them to the plate and then you don't get back up there for weeks to to, uh, to feed them again all of a sudden now they didn't yard they didn't move to where the food was and you actually do more harm than good that's probably the strongest point to how to advance age structure guys keeping them healthy right through that por portion now where we're at here in kentucky south we don't have to worry about that as much right they rebound a lot quicker because they're not so reliant on us we can't really get them into trouble in a lot of cases so top five guys are five or six points there on how to advance advance your age structure and right now during the rut and the gun season um you know maybe seven is a little trigger management right so uh take these points and if you are in that realm and you want to advance these deer to the next age structure here are uh, a couple, you know, ways to do that. And remember, age over inches. Mm -hmm.